Thank you.
Hello, one viewer. That might just be us. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Levi has successfully derailed us from starting for half an hour now. Eh, that's fine. You're reading anyway. But the hunter is... Are you familiar with, like, Keep It Do, Retro Fighters, either of those? Yes. Um, it's their uh, one for the original Xbox, which they haven't released one yet. They have, like, GameCube, 64, Dreamcast, and stuff so Are you far. telling me anyone would ever use an Xbox controller other than the Duke? I do actually like the Duke. I haven't met many people who also say they like it. My only real reason for siding with the Slim most of the time is the face buttons. Like, the size and the grip, I prefer the Duke. Uh, the sticks, I could kind of go either way, but the face buttons... Can you not replace... Well, like... You see that? They're at this weird, like, really angled diamond shape. They're not oh, just like right. they're not just like a regular square. That's right. So like they're not very distinct or they're not as distinct from when, each other. When I first tried an X I remember when I was a kid, I was in Best Buy or something like that. And they had an Xbox kiosk. I was probably it was right around the time the Xbox came out. So this was two thousand one. Two thousand one. Um so I would have been the best nine I've years seen. old. I would have been nine years old. Oh, shush, Crystal. And um, I just held the controller. I'm like, why would? Why is this controller so big? You want to know? And why does it need so many buttons? There's a specific reason it's so big. I vaguely remember, but you should explain it to at me. the at the time of the original xbox releasing they considered it too expensive on mass scale to use ribbon cables in the controller uh so instead of doing two boards on top of each other with a ribbon cable connecting them which is what they did for the slim controller because they couldn't make the board in the controller small enough for what they wanted to, it to be able to do mm -hmm. uh they just had one board for the original Xbox controller, and they had to build the controller around that. Uh. And that's why the Duke was so big starting out. But it's funny because by the end of the console generation, the Duke was actually, I think, technically the same size as like a PS2 Slim. <laughs> so the whole PS their whole competitor system was about the size of the controller that Xbox no, had started the PS2 with. No, PS2 Slim is not this small. Well, don't like mass-wise. Yeah, it's behind the silver controller. But like mass-wise... I mean, we can test that right now. It's just a little bigger than, like, a game case. <laughs> but the the Duke is a lot deeper is the main thing that would make that the case. But they're well, sure. shockingly I mean, closer in size than you would think. It doesn't really matter if things get knocked around. I'm kind of upset that the Duke didn't come in other color variants. But, yeah, the Retro Fighters Hunter you're, controller... You're, Possibly. Oh, no, it's fine. They have long controls. They're like 10-foot cables I mean, probably on those. Part of, this is still definitely heavier. This yeah. is still definitely heavier. Well, as the, far as just the amount of space it takes up, like... It's weird that it's comparable. It's, it, is, it is comparable. <laughs> it is comparable. But, I mean, yeah. Plus with a giant wad of cables that all the Xbox controllers have. Yeah. Now, this... the. The PS the PS2 Slim is still is still heavier for yeah. for sure even with even with counting the cable the yeah. cable heft. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the controller is not particularly heavy because so much of it is empty space. Right. It basically just needs to have the surface area to fit. The have you ever board have you ever opened, certain board have you ever opened up a controller? Uh, which one? Like one of these? Any. I mean, sure. This. I don't think I've opened up an original Xbox controller, but I've opened up like. Maybe a dozen controllers. Have you ever opened an N64 controller? No. Honestly, I, most of the ones I've opened have probably been 360, Xbox One, or Genesis. I have... I've opened a lot of Genesis controllers. I have almost exclusively opened N64 controllers. Not only those, because like I've, I've opened... Um, uh, what do you say? Um, I don't really care how it is. <laughs> uh... My Wii U control, my Wii U Pro controllers, because I swapped the buttons on those. Oh. <laughs> Sound system turned itself off from inactivity. Um. But 
like N64 controllers, it's the, it's the same thing as you mentioned with the Xbox controllers. Like, it's just one board on the yeah. inside. Um, and Did, you would be upset if I told you the main reason I even know what the circuit boards and N64 controllers look like. Golden Eye Speed Running. Do you know about that? Maybe. I don't remember exactly what it did in game, but basically, like it was, it was ended up being like one of the more controversial like N64 speedrunning techniques because technically it was something the game allowed, but also like it gave a huge advantage and it was really stupid setting it up and no one wanted to bother with it. But basically, if you had a second controller plugged in, I don't remember if it was in like port two, three, or four. Well, speedrunning Goldeneye on the 64. Nothing with, like, pressing the buttons or moving the stick was making a difference. But if the controller was open and connected and you were applying electric shocks to different parts of the circuit board in different times, it would actually change, like, something about the game. Huh. I don't remember what exactly it changed or, like, what kind of shock it needed. Maybe it just needed, like, your finger on it. I don't remember, but... Like, you actually had to open a controller and, like, press it every now and then to, like, get different skips. It may have been something along the lines of, like, lag skipping, like, DK64 with the orange bombs or whatever. At 9, your hands were smaller. It's true. Now Nowadays, that's, like, perfect size for my hands because I got massive hands. I like the Duke's grip. I just don't like the face buttons. That's kind of the main thing. Although I will say with the Xbox S controller, every time I pick that up, I always have to like look down for the first few times where like the start and select buttons are because they're under the left stick. And I always forget about that. <laughs> I... Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Like to match the black and white you're buttons. Not, you're not supposed to be able to accidentally hit those buttons while you're playing. I mean, one thing a lot of people forget about the original Xbox, it has six face buttons. It's A, B, X, Y, black, white. <laughs> black, white are basically just like uses like little, There's... little toggle things or like like in Halo, it's like turning the flashlight on or off or something like things that most games use like the D-pads or the bumpers for nowadays. The original Xbox controller is a lot more like a Sega Saturn controller than they would ever like to admit. I still kind of want to get a Saturn. Have you seen the Saturn controller I got? No. Because uh, Retro Fighters made one like a year ago. You something. bought a Saturn controller and don't even have a Saturn? I haven't, I haven't talked about it. What is wrong with you? So it is. It has both Saturn and Genesis. Answer my question. It has both Saturn and Genesis capabilities. And it's a 10 foot cable. No. So you can use it on Genesis or Saturn. Then it's a six button controller. You know what else you can use it on if it works on Genesis? Uh, 2600? Oh, sorry, 2600. Or does the 5200 work with it? I, don't know. I do not know because I don't well, own a 5200. I really like this a lot. This is probably one of my favorite controllers I've gotten from it. It retails for like 25, which is <laughs> really good. Because, <laughs> like, the Xbox one that I just bought, the Hunter, uh, sure, it'll be wireless. It's going to be like the same kind of color and kind of general layout of that. That was 60 bucks. <laughs> Which controllers are too fucking expensive. I've place. been I've been waiting for that one for a really long time. They delayed it like four separate times, and the last date that they had was January fifteenth, and it just didn't come out. And then they were just like, maybe by the end of the month we'll see. <laughs> and so I just like started messaging their social media accounts like two days ago, and uh, <laughs> they were basically just told me like, hey, or they got to it like a day after it had gone back in stock. And there was no way to, like, mark it to get, like, a notification when it went in stock. And so I basically got a message from them a day after it had gone out of stock. They were like, hey, it did go back in stock, but we just realized that you had sent this before that, and we're already out of stock, and we think it's, like, some bots, and we're trying to figure that out, but we can make sure that you can get one. So <laughs> they, like, sent me a special link to the store page, and I was able to buy one still. So neat. Neat. But yeah. If you want to know what is one of the most worthless things... Can we start the game? Maybe. 
If you want to know what I feel like is one of the most worthless things for a game system that I just think is funny, the extension cable for the original Xbox. Because all the controllers have 10-foot cables, where most systems have 6-foot cables. But for that one, you can just buy extension cables for it. For the controllers? Yeah. I in mean, in can, case you need 20 feet of cable on you the can, controller. You can, I mean, some people it's do. so much. I mean, I have one. I'm gonna and be I, real. I would I, rather have, I would rather have a twenty foot controller cable than a wireless controller, personally. Yeah. I, I hate. That reminds me. I still need to get in contact with Kite, or no, it was Ezra who hooked me up with him. You wouldn't know, but he was going to put a, I think sixteen foot paracord cable, on my GameCube controller that was like the brand new Smash Four one, where the cable got nipped by Bunky, like three days after I got it. Yeah. So it's basically a brand new controller, but no cable. <laughs> so he was going to put a new one on, but what we kept running into is that every cable that wasn't just getting a six-foot cable from a regular controller wasn't going to be, like, particularly viable. And I, I specifically was like, if I'm going to go through the effort of modding it, I want it to be, like, exceptional in some way. Like, a really long cable. <laughs> And if I want to do, like, custom face buttons or something, I can do that on my own time. Uh, hello, Mark. Uh, so, chat. We're finally starting. I got here, like, nearly an hour ago. Yeah. So, chat. Probably catch you up on this. Does the game sound fine? Like, you hear the music? It's that That's doing the trick? Levi's computer is bad. Yeah, me and Mitch both kept messing with it. It doesn't want to let me do direct feed for the audio. So it doesn't want to let me play desktop audio to the stream. So he, we just have to have the speak or the microphone picking up what the speakers are putting out. He needs to he needs to uninstall and reinstall OBS. It's, Probably. I mean, he he really needs to like overhaul all the stuff on his OBS because it's horrible. It's basically know. just been adding things for like three years and never really taking things he away. He has like he has like twenty five sources for every scene and he has like twenty scenes. It's horrifying. He doesn't use Hon templates or anything like that. Like honestly, most half those scenes probably have less than five elements in them. <laughs> it's just like the top like you five don't have a lot going on. You don't need more than if if you have if you have more than fifteen sources on a scene, you're doing it wrong somehow. Yes. Let's me. Oh, it's so nice having the mouse just work seamlessly from here. I'm going to raise that. There we are. Wonderful. Yeah, we could just keep that up. He legit had three different sources for his Logitech C C615 camera. One said... Oh, I have three of those. C615. One said C615, uh, and then two in parentheses. And then the third one said C615, and then in parentheses, for real this time. I'm pretty sure you're the one who named that one for real this time. <laughs> no. There's got I would not have done that. I, I would have I deleted would the other sources. I would have named it. Well, no, because it was having issues at one point. But I do have two 615s. I don't use them too much anymore, but I'm thinking about using it for the bedroom setup. We shall see. I have a C615, but I've been lending it to Trevor basically since he moved here. Ah. Uh, yeah, he borrowed my 615 when he moved here, and then, like, I asked for it back, and he just, like... <laughs> yes, he asked for yeah. it. When he asked That's for it back, when. I probably... That was probably when I gave him mine and I don't need it because I don't have a need for I was using it at one point because I had cameras. a camera back there but it doesn't come up too terribly often so I didn't bother with it oh two audio sources Mitch got upset when he saw mine <laughs> I think both input and output had like at least like a dozen things in each list. <laughs> Although to be fair, like half that list or more. Was Why do you have length. four game sources? 
Maybe it's just different monitors, or maybe he just has them programmed to which game instead of detecting the game each time. But also, Mark, like, never uses OBS from what I can tell. I mean... I mean, maybe you do for some stuff, but you don't stream through it. You just stream directly to Discord from what I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I figured. I just go into the properties and just change it to whatever game whenever I'm changing it, but it doesn't take too much effort. Uh, that would give me an aneurysm. Yes. That seems a little bright. Hey, Google, living room lights off. Oh, that's what that... Hey, Google, dining room lights off. Ten years ago, a man named oh, Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteorite was. fragment. That's... Yeah, that's probably be better. Yeah, so the whole room, it'll just be pointed at us. Because I have the camera over there because I was doing video interviews for jobs. <laughs> uh. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. Hate to see it. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Yeah. Wait. When did this I happen? I see myself. Is this new or did this happen at the end of when we last played? This would be... I don't remember Sissel like in person or sh holding a gun or shooting the detective. <laughs> or... Well, I remember... I remember... Whatever the fuck his name was. Palomino? Uh, it's, it's not that. It's something... I, I remember him getting shot, but I don't remember this Sissel holding. I don't it. remember Sissel holding the gun. Mm. Huh. There you are, Commander Sith. Finally. A fitting name. <laughs> Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Had to take, had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Dawn is approaching. The darkness right. surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. What if the lamp we saw at the beginning was the detective? <laughs> I actually, so... It could, right? A couple months ago, I accidentally spoiled myself on the twist of the game. Which one? We've seen like four... <laughs> well, that was a twist that I didn't know about, but the twist. That Sissel killed the detective? Hmm, yes! We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, yes sir. Oh. All preparations are complete, sir. <laughs> and we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. <laughs> have they now? By all means, let me have a look. <laughs> The big old slap. We haven't seen this guy in a while. Hmm, yes. We're very close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable, and we have no service until we arrive. Hello, Steven. Very well. A good die to you as well, my good sir. <laughs> Sup. Indeed, that is supper. Keep this up. I'll go get. Uh, I'll put some glasses on. Get some protection. Oh, this is some sort of rowing right? vehicle. It is a submarine. Oh. So they were connected to a communication cable down on the seafloor. 
Huh. Cabanella. Nice uh, try, Inspector Cabanella. That's what his name was, not Palomino. That's but you face. could never stop me. Bibab? Or be back in a bit. Oh. I'm older than you, Steven. I feel like half the acronyms people use, I have no clue. Like, the most common ones, sure. But no. as soon as it gets less common, I'm just, what? <laughs> be back in a bit. I've known for 15 years. It's... I don't know. Common enough. See ya, sucker. I mean, you could say some pretty common ones, and I'd probably tell you that I learned about them in the last year or two. <laughs> LOL. It's been a lot longer <laughs> that I've known of that one. LMAO. Yes, I know that one. I feel like probably the one that would shock the most people is I didn't know what um, NSFW was until about like two years ago from Chloe's Discord server because one of the channels is called that and it's just people in precarious like construction situations. <laughs> it was like super active for like a week and then no one's touched it since. <laughs> OSHA violations. That's probably another name for it, but I think the joke was yes. people go to it for other things. Mm. Is there anywhere we'd actually need to go? I think we're just kind of approaching here. Wait a minute. If wait, well, you're would this mean that there's two instances of Sissel? Because that's what this would imply, right? What? Maybe. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Oh boy, still unconscious, eh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. No shit! <laughs> I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. Pepper, what are you doing? But if that's where I'm going to find my answers, I can't run away from it. Pepper is... <laughs> she's just perched next to the camera. <laughs> she never goes on top of that thing. It's like her little, like, hiding box or whatever. We don't just, like, put the cameras there for the stream. They're just always there, so she shouldn't be, like, surprised by them existing. Quite concerned. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Well, so he thought Sissa was on his side, but he wasn't? Oh. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage, sir, is a handy thing. I know from experience. It gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Is he still even holding the gun yet? <clears throat> What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit? Okay, Steven, I don't actually know what that one is. For what it's worth. Ah. Uh. What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? You still want to cosplay Sissel when he's like this? Yes. I like a good villain. Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. I love revenge! Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. What? Did something else happen at the same time as the like, meteor falling and the shootout in the park? Yeah. You know who the guy who was shooting out in the park was? Is it us? It was supposedly Sissel and uh, the, the uh, inspector getting put yeah. to death. I forgot that Sissel was the one that was supposedly the other side of that. Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life. Or have you forgotten that? Is it bad that I still can't take that word seriously after the Luigi thing? 
What are you talking about? Ridiculous. <laughs> what are you talking about? He has like a quote from like one of the GameCube sports games where he's just like, You look ridiculous. I it's was like murdered victory by thing. all of you. And it's like his victory cry. Harrison had it as like a notification for like everything that happened in his streams for a while. Detective Jowd, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn! She was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I would have never thought of taking a hostage. That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally you, Inspector Cabanella. He, you saw what he did there, right? It even played the right sound effect. <laughs> well, or a same, close enough version. Same company. Yeah. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. He's got sunglasses and dogs. You were so proud of your spotless record. And my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Do these two have the same shaped face? No. Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jowd. Almost. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Gods. Well, that's interesting. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. What? This was another condition of my deal. So is Sissel able to have both instances of himself working together then? To what? wipe out everybody no. who knew about Temsik. Because we wouldn't have known about this until the four minutes back. What? <laughs> Revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Seconded. Hey, man. Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella, he's awake. My head is spinning, baby. You're Am I to understand that, that Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. I, uh, I guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. You just skipped right over part of part of the big twist. You said that he's not the Sissel guy. Yeah. Uh, I, I read it already. I, I don't. You, you still saw it. I'm, said it. I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. He just says himself. Okay, so do your thing, baby. Well... He had a hostage, remember? Mm. Sissel did. 
Yeah. The real Sissel. So are you a manipulator, too? I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead. Yeah. But I can't control living creatures. Anywho, I think you'd better be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. <gasps> you're right, I'd better be careful. Whoa. Look at him. He's magnificent. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? I've been playing on Xbox. X and Y are flipped. <laughs> What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit? What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Mm, we've already read all this. Yeah. Oh yeah, where does this end up? Open the spout lid. Oh, that works too. I was gonna see about. Oh. Look at this place. This is where. Well, all that actually happened here was just the gun shooting Lynn, right? Supposedly. I mean. We're assuming that this is. Well, yeah, because of the Sissel we are. This is. What in the world happened here? Order. Think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. Thank goodness he's the head of detectives. <laughs> and now, there's another death lying hidden here. Oh. What? Another death? Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? Uh, is it that one guy who had to, like, take his pills? Bird guy. I thought you were talking about no, you. No, uh, the one who ended up like just guzzling water instead. <laughs> like in his office, who was making phone calls. Why would he be here? I don't know, but he seems like one of the more important to the nation type characters. Hmm, I'm just, a, I'm just a guy in a white coat, baby. Yeah, it's okay. I guess pigeon bird. guy, bird guy. Why is he important to the nation? Hey, come to think of it, where is that old pigeon guy? Okay. This is some kind of device. Very astute observation. You said something bad happened here, and that was all you had to say, so shut up. <laughs> uh, sorry, my memory isn't working. Yeah, mine isn't working too well right now either. I do remember seeing somebody use this equipment, though. Hello? Open the toolbox. Oh. Excellent. Oh, there's the body. Um, excuse me. I don't remember who was the bird guy. I guess I could. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? So they can see each other as well. Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hmm. Pitiful. 
Ouch, that hurts. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? But we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cavanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Hmm, tough choice. I'll go with that one. I'm also realizing it may be beneficial to... Wait. What? Do you see what's going on here? How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place Where? is dangerous. Did they revive Sissel, but without his soul around? Well, what? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Maybe if we continue on, we'll find out. Perhaps. Don't be daft. I can leave now. Or I can't leave now. Those two tools work hand in hand. He's completely dead, but just as I thought, I'm getting a read. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it, He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect. It's a spirit. Do we know that he knew about this? <laughs> Ridiculous. I think we did. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? Was this Sissel? So Sissel's body might not actually be alive. It might just be being manipulated. <laughs> yeah. Ah. You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So this could it's be a possible. It's possible that it's a separate manipulator. Well, I think it's. I think it's a manipulator, but I think that Sissel is the manipulator, and he's just able to manipulate his own body. But he's also able to manipulate other people's bodies. But he's. Mm -hmm manipulating his own because but what about the well, one we're playing as we're not Sissel oh okay I didn't know if it was that like because maybe this more than one because instance, or? because this is Sissel and he died 10 years ago okay so so we just look we a lot like him no <laughs> we thought we were Sissel which is why we took the form that we did because we thought we were Sissel, because that was the last thing we well, saw. We still got shot in the, like, dump, though, didn't we? We thought we did. But it's possible didn't Link that it was... Didn't confirm that? Well, it's possible that it was the manipulator getting shot. And we just also happened to die around there and just carry on from that point, assuming yeah. that was us? Yeah. Ah. You're a clever man, Inspector Cavanella. So it's really true. Y you're... I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. I control everything. This shell. People. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lynn. So it's true. You were manipulating my baby that time? You made her shoot your shell. I just called it. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Jout did. Now then, Professor. I'm, it's, I'm afraid it's time for you to die. Uh, I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? Why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room.
This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Le bear. Professor, look out! So did it shoot it? Didn't it just shoot it like a few little like fireworks or something? Is that what that was? Darn it! Eh? Where the devil did he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared. Oh yeah, you. That medical examiner. Remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. Oh, he's blue. Ah, that would make sense. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab. But he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through their plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Okay, so he didn't know in advance. He found out because the professor was able to, I guess, deduce it? <laughs> anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. Well, there were people who knew that powers of the dead existed. Like the, yeah. the, um, the regal dude, whatever his name was. The, the pr prosecutor. The guy who was, like, making the final call? Yeah, yeah. He knew. Well, he took some convincing. <laughs> well, he he knew about that Powers of the Dead existed. Yeah. And, of course, you just skipped over the text I was about to say. Oh, I thought you said that. It'd been on there for a while. Well, no, I was talking to you the whole time. Oh, oops. Jesus Christ. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Isn't there a way that you can see previous text? Press L. R. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Oh, well, D-pad will afford it. <laughs> I remember what Ray said to me tonight. What if you press left? Oh. oh. And I'm going to follow him, of course, after I save you two. So, top of the D-pad. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from ten years ago still be here? No time for thinking now, baby.